The annual Newport Beach Classic Car Festival is coming up uh, later this month and joining us with all the things festival, I want to mark, welcome Mark Orovitz to this day. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. So tell us about the Classic Car Show in general, if people don't know about it down there. It's, it's, it's a big event, you guys do it every yeah. year. So we're the Knights of Columbus and uh, one of our big things is charities. We're, mm -hmm. we're probably one of the larger charities in Newport Beach. We support 10 or 12 charities that people would know in the area, be well, a lot of homeless stuff, Meals on Wheels, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of causes. And out of this, we started this car show um, about five years ago, had a little hiccup because of COVID like everybody right. else did. But um, last year it really took off and um, we now are a partner with the city. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of funny, cliche that we're here talking about this, but if you know anything about classic cars, you realize that, that the demographics on the, on the age group of classic cars is quite older. It's, it skews older, for sure. And because <laughs> they're losing some steam as far as number of people interested, enthusiasts in that area, um, we decided this year to add a snow and surf expo to it. The idea about that is bringing in younger people, families, right. Um, who likes snowboarding, skiing, surfing, all types of outdoor things. Now, on the Friday night, it's going to be October 27th, 28th, but the show's really the 28th, but 27th, you guys are going to do a trunk or treat, which is also going to maybe bring some kids out, right? Tell us a little yeah, bit about well, that. Yeah, so we have a trunk or treat at the Newport Pier. Uh, it's from 3 or, yeah, 4 to 10 o'clock, and uh, we're going to have trunk or treat in the cars for kids, mm -hmm. and for adults, we're going to have a... Um, uh, a bar crawl at three different bars, <laughs> Blackie's, Helmsman, and the Alley. Is that a um, good way to kick it off? It's going to be it's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun. But we we think it be it'll be a great way um, to be involved in the show. And if you show up and you're not registered, and we're not sold out, then we might have an opportunity right there for you to register your okay. car or truck. So people can register. How about volunteers? You guys need. I imagine this takes a lot of work, yeah. not just the Knights of Columbus, but maybe kind of the community yeah. involved in this. So this year we launched a volunteer program. Um, we have about 75 volunteers already. We can always use a lot more. Uh, but we really have gotten a lot of uh, uh, age groups. In fact, we have a lot of kids coming from Mata Day and Newport Harbor High School. Terrific. Um, and then just a mix of people that want to help out. We really, our goal is to be, get at least 100 um, volunteers. Okay. And when you do the fundraising here, this year we're focused on a couple of things, right? You're also focusing a little bit on Maui and, the, and what happened in Lahaina, right? So that, yeah. some of that money's going to be able to go there? Yes. So uh, the money we raise from this, uh, uh, less expenses, mm -hmm. um, we use for our local charities. We're also involved in Mount Maui relief, relief, relief effort, which, by the way, uh, the main effort the day after the fire, when you saw the boats, the jet skis, bringing stuff, stuff into the harbor, is the Knights of Columbus in both Maui and um, Oahu. Wow. And so it's called Epic EPIC Ministries with an S, dot net, and 100% of the money raised from, from that group goes directly to the people of Lahaina. How did you get involved in Knights of Columbus and making all this, the car show happen and all of that? Mm, I was married to Episcopalian for 24 years. <laughs> I didn't go to the Catholic Church. I got divorced. Uh, my father was a grand knight and I was raised Catholic. So when I moved back to Newport Beach, I decided to get back into the church and become a Knights of Columbus. And it's probably one of the greatest things I ever did. Yeah, an amazing, amazing organization. A lot of the things they do, uh, it's absolutely terrific. Are you a big classic car buff yourself? Do you have one? Do you know I don't have one right now, but I like, I like cars. Most guys like cars. I had some really cool cars in high school with a lot of, lot of motor to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I like the cars for sure. Yeah. And I think one of the things, uh, you know, like you said, it does skew older, but when you have like the family events, like you said, the, the fun, the sledding that's going to be going on, the trunk or treat, you know, and parents bring the kids, it also kind of gets them excited about classic cars at a younger age, right? Yeah, so we have a, we have a, a, ch a children's area. We have a bike parade, a Halloween bike parade, sponsored by, I think, Electric Bike Company of Newport Beach, mm -hmm. uh, face painting, balloons, all types of stuff for kids. So it's, a, it's going to be a real family event. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, the event's free, but how are you raising money? There's a beer garden. There's a couple other ways people can... Uh, can we have really gotten a lot of sponsors this year. Oh, we terrific. have uh, Dylan RV, Airstream Trailers, uh, 
BM, Sterling BMW, Fletcher Jones, uh, Mercedes. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. we'll, we will raise a lot of money this year through sponsorships. The actual event day, we do, we do fine with the beer. The beer is normally donated to us that we sell um, and other food that we sell. But, yeah, it's sponsorships. Okay. Now, about how many cars do you think you'll have out there? Do you have any idea of what kind of cars we're going to be seeing this uh, year? We're going to have a lot of, lot of high-end cars. We have some... Uh, coming in on trailers because they're just too expensive to drive around. Mm -hmm. We also have a drag, uh, two dragsters out there that we'll see if maybe they start up. Who knows? <laughs> um, and um, we have room for 183 cars, and it's almost sold out right now. Okay, so we're getting close to that. So if people want to know more about it, they should probably go to the website, which I think we have a, we have a thing of that, so people can go there, find out more volunteer information, find out about that, how to get involved and that kind of thing. Um, what's the most important thing people should know about what you guys do over there in terms of the Knights of Columbus and, and doing these kind of fundraising events? Our heart is in the community. Yeah. We really believe in helping people out. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think that it just goes through our whole, whole organization that we care about our backyard, we care about a lot about homelessness, we care about kids, but we care. So um, it's just, it, I'm, it, I'm really honored to be able to be, be part of the organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of people to do this, and I know you have a lot of volunteers, a lot of folks. Um, one, before we go, I want to go through it one more time. Tell me all the details we need to know to get out to the Classic Car Show this year. Okay, so it's on the website. Right. Uh, you, come down, you can come down to the, the pier area between 4 and 10 o'clock at night, or that whole area for the trunk or treat. In the morning, it starts at 8 o'clock. We have, I don't know, 50, 60 um, arts and craft vendors. Mm -hmm. We have the Snow and Surf Expo Village, which is ski, surf shops, uh, surfing companies, ski companies. Mm -hmm. um, You're going to have some great tribute bands out there too, right? We have three bands, two. We have two 70s bands, and the big band is from two to four is the Beach Boys tribute band from Disney. Okay. So lots, lots of fun, lots of music. And they have lots, a big following, right? They have a big following. Yeah. So there'll be, there'll be a lot of people there. It's in our church parking lot, which will become a venue. Um, and we're going to have some really good food, brats, hamburgers, hot dogs, and lots of beer. Sounds like a good day for everybody. Going to be October 28th. That's the big day. Get down to Newport and see the car show and support some great causes. Mark Orvitz uh, from Knights of Columbus, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right. When we come back, we're going to talk about some healthy living in the community. Stay with us.